So I've got the third family member in this product line. Hello vapors and vapies. Today's video is all about the Target Pro by Vaporesso. <laughs> Yes, all right guys, today we are looking at the Target Pro. This is the kit, so it does come with an atomizer. This is available in black, silver, white, pink, and purple, and I have the pink version, of course, like which other color would I have? This is their pink, it's like a rose gold color. So here we have the actual mod itself, which needs a battery, an 18650, the tank, and an extra coil. Now over here in this little pouch, we can figure out how to get in it. Oh, just opens. This says, the best just gets better. Here we have the charge port here in this side. And a little user's manual on this side. It also comes with a warranty card. It does also come with a coil installed. So just like the first edition of the Target, it has that ergonomic joystick grip design with the vape trigger right here and a thumb rest right here. I'll show you guys it close up. The trigger, regulatory buttons, micro USB port, and here is the tank. So this goes from 5 to 75 watts and it can be adjusted by 0.1 watts and in wattage mode it can vape as low as 0.15 ohm all the way up to 3 ohm but it does also support TC, nickel, 200, titanium and stainless steel and also has a TCR mode. In temperature mode it goes from 200 degrees Fahrenheit to 600 degrees Fahrenheit. It does have automatic atomizer recognition as well as a resistance lock for in TC mode and this whole construction is a zinc alloy and stainless steel construction with the tank having Pyrex glass. It does have a gold plated spring loaded 510 pin. It has the same kind of door as the regular Target, a magnetic door in the back here where the 18650 battery goes. Here on the bottom it has venting holes and it has an OLED screen which displays output wattage, output voltage, resistance, battery life. You can also adjust the screen and flip it or you can lock it. Holding both of the regulatory buttons down at the same time will switch it through the different modes. It does have updatable and fully customizable firmware modeled for TCR mode. I'm going to fill up this tank with some frosted donut by You Got E Juice. It's so good. This is a top fill tank. So you just take the cap off and fill in those fill slots. So I've got this all filled up. It does come with two C cell coils, which is the ceramic cell coils that are, have a stainless steel heating element. Like I said before, this is Pyrex glass and it is a 22 millimeter diameter tank. Holds 2.5 mils and it is installed with a 0.5, I believe, and then also comes with a 0.6. All right, so I'm gonna let this wake up and then give it a vape. I love the color. I did kind of struggle with getting the top off to fill it, and I definitely don't feel like that's a problem everyone's gonna face. It does have protection features like temperature warning, low battery, short circuit, overcurrent, overcharge, low resistance, and reverse polarity protections. So it's got a buttload of protections. Big thumbs up in my book though. And it also has adjustable airflow at the bottom. It has two slots on either side. I always keep mine open. I just prefer it that way all the way open. And it does have a removable 510 drip tip. It's such a little short one too though, so I don't think I mind it. I am going to start this off vaping it a little bit higher at 50 watts and see where we are there if I need to turn it down or turn it up depending on where I like to vape. I do like a cooler vape so anything that's not too warm is what I prefer but these ceramic coils definitely take a little bit more wattage I've noticed to heat up. It also has adjustable juice flow control that is something that you should be aware, well aware of. The just I don't know if there's a certain way to do it but I just been spinning the tank body like spinning the glass and it's been spinning the juice flow control and I um, tried to hit it and there was um, no e-liquid and I think I might have ruined that coil my mistake I'm human I took like the babiest vape without noticing that I hadn't opened the juice flow control all the way I'm going to let it wake up really nicely and see if I have um, not fully ruined that coil if I have then I'll just change it out for the extra one thank god it comes with another one so yeah I ruined the coil on that one because I tried to vape it with absolutely no e-liquid on it and I don't know if any of you guys have ever done that but it's literally the most horrible thing and I literally just did it right now after almost like a freaking four years of vaping and I just that was awful and I also struggled to get the bottom off and regrettably I had to use pliers to get the bottom off because my hands are just too sweaty so there's a few nicks but that's what happens when I have to use pliers 
not very happy with myself right now. So I put the 0.6 in here and tossed the 0.5. Definitely going to start it at like 48 watts because I'm just really apprehensive after doing that lap, so. That's how I like coax the flavor into the atomizer because after that drag, no more. Oh, that was like fire on my throat. Like I literally cut out dying, literally dying. And I know I'm gonna cut it out some, but <laughs> here we go. Target Pro, oh my God. I'm still scared. That was like the babyest vape too. And it was like clouds. Clouds, bitch, wow. I don't feel like I was dragging for very long and I got a very dense vapor production out of that. That's incredible, I love it. Clouds, biatch, and the flavor is getting better the more I vape it. Come through with that frosted donut though. Jesus, like, I mean, were you expecting anything less? The original Target was great. The Target Mini was great. This Target Pro is great. Like, if anybody that was expecting something. But this is kind of how you're supposed to do it. But I don't like having my fingers over the buttons. Even though you can lock everything. I don't like that. So, because, like, it's the trigger. So, you know, trigger, babe. But I'm, like, pushing it with my thumb and resting my finger here. Which I guess my thumb is still. But it's not, like, touching the buttons and the screen. I don't know. Just stuff from my brain for you guys to know. Damn, you can see the performance is fucking great. Yum, this is the best donut flavor of my life. And in here, on these sea cell coils, mm, it just comes out so much breadier and doughy, sugarier. I do feel it's kind of getting warm, but then when I touch it, it's not warm, but it's kind of warm on my mouth. So I think I'd want to change out my drip tip on this just personally because I feel like stainless steel drip tips get pretty hot. I don't know if this one is insulated or not, but I don't think it is. Well, you guys, like I always say, the proof is in the vape. And now that I didn't ruin this coil, it's vaping great. Like the first coil, I fucked it up. But this one, mm, vaping great. Not to mention, I absolutely love this color. So if you've tried the Target Pro, let me know down in the comments below what you think of it. If you want me to try a one month update for this, you can comment below and let me know. If I get enough requests, I can make that happen. You can also comment below some concerns. you. Or if you've had it and had a tough time, you can leave that below. Or if you've had it and you absolutely love it, let me know down in the comments below. I will leave a link below to where you can check this out for yourself. You can get it for around $70 free shipping I'll link below but that's it for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed if you did give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to this channel for more vape videos check the description box below for important links like where to get my favorite things like e-liquids mods etc you can follow me on almost any social media site like Instagram Twitter or Facebook I do have a second YouTube channel where I upload random videos of whatever I feel like so if you want to see more of me that's not vape related you can check out that channel and one more thing before you go if vaping is something you're passionate about please do what you can to fight for your right to vape if you are in the USA then the FDA is trying trying to take away our vaping rights and all of the vapor products on the market so you need to call and urge your state representatives to support HR 2058 and the Cole Bishop Amendment. So with that being said, I'm Tia Vapes and thank you so much for watching. I'm digging the color so much on this, like I want to love it, but I'm so into all-in-ones like my Nebox and the Tesla Stealth and the Coopty, Cupty, whatever, so.